Welcome to video one of Richard Bauckham's A Very Short Introduction on Jesus. This is done by Oxford Press, and it is a part of a large series of books on very important topics. And Jesus is a very important topic, whether you uh, believe in him as your personal Lord and Savior or not, as Bauckham points out on chapter one. So chapter one, if you're following along, Jesus, a universal icon. He says that Jesus of Nazareth, now, uh, if you're not familiar, Nazareth is a district town in Israel, and it is still there today, uh, or Jesus Christ. Christ is not his last name. Christ means Messiah or anointed one, a savior. So Jesus, the savior as Christians, myself call him, is undoubtedly the best known and most influential human person in world history. Now this launches the entire book. This is why we are doing this. Because when we have our minds on, if we have our conscience, consciousness engaged in the world, we realize that it's important to dig down deep into the things that shape us, that teach us, that lead us, uh, that that is actually what it means to be awake and uh, alert in the world, to be learning about the things that are having an impact on us and discover and sift through whether or not you want more of them or you want less of them. This is the beautiful power of choice that we have as human beings. And so this book, as Jesus is an introduction, we have this claim, this bold claim, that Jesus is the most influential person in history. There are 2 billion people today as the writing of this book, which was done fairly recently, uh, that identify themselves as Christians with the implication that Jesus is their focus and their relationship to God. His impact in history overall cannot be underestimated. It is significant. He goes on to claim that Jesus is not confined to Christianity. He's a figure of significance in Islam as a messenger of God. Many Hindus and Buddhists have interpreted him favorably. Recently, some Jewish thinkers have been reclaiming Jesus as an authentic Jewish teacher. He's the, he is the focus of so much art and literature and film. He is a central figure throughout history. He has made an impact. But who is he? Who is he really? Because as Richard Bauckham points out, Jesus has also been used to weaponize um, evil against other people. He says, for example, the Aryan Christ of the German Nazis, who were also Christians, some of these images so distort the Christ of the Gospels as to be unrecognizable as him. They are ideological abuse of Jesus, putting him to use as wholly inconsistent with the figure to be found in the Gospels. You could also say this of um, North American slave trade, who justified slavery through the use of the Bible and passed on the Gospels to the slaves that they owned. And yet, Jesus became a central figure and part of their freedom and liberation. Who is this person? What is going on? And this is why the Bible is so important. Because although the Bible has been copied and recopied and translated, we have excerpts of its original text. We can trace it back right to the beginning and copy word for word what was said back then. And so we have a way of accessing something that is real and rooted in its early centuries. And we are going to go back in time and talk about the sources in chapter two. Before we do that, let's ask ourselves a few questions that will help us to dig deeper into our own lives and into Jesus as a figure in the world. Think of your own understanding of Jesus Christ whether you're a Christian or not. Discuss how you have witnessed it in your own culture. So this is just an opportunity to sit back and reflect and write down, how has Jesus come to me in my time and place? 
what has that image been? Has it been in a negative way? Has it been positive? Has it been passive? Has it been active? What is my interaction with Jesus right now and here in my culture? After reading the first chapter or listening to what I've said, is there something new that's already challenged your previous assumptions? And what was that? The last thing I'm going to get you to do is go to the Gospels or the bio biographies of Jesus. There are four, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and they are found at the very beginning of the New Testament. You're going to go to the Gospel according to John, chapter 3, verses 16 to 21. Now, John 3.16 3, has been quoted quite a bit. Maybe you saw it put up at a football game on a big poster. Maybe you've heard it quoted in popular culture. But the later verses aren't quoted quite as often. Read through carefully, slowly, those verses. What's new that stands out to you? What's familiar? And what's making a, di a different or deeper impact now for you today? So again, that's John 3, 16, verses 16 to 21. That's the end of this video. Come back again and subscribe to get video two, where we talk about the sources, the Gospels, uh, in Richard Bauckham's A Very Short Introduction, Jesus.